Today, an impressive large statue of King Karl Johan is present at the Palace Square in Oslo. It has been there since 1875 and has become a symbol, a landmark and an icon of the entire city. What is less known is that this was not the first statue there. Before the Karl Johan monument another, larger, statue stood on the same place. It was the Freedom Monument. The idea of a Karl Johan statue in Christiania all began in the 1830s, while the king was still alive. It remained in the planning stages for the next few decades, and it was never dreamed that the statue would end up in front of the castle. Only in the 1860s did the idea begin to take shape. The year 1864 was the 50th anniversary of the Constitution, and this had to be marked. The Norwegian Karl Johan Association raised money for a statue, and many were very generous in their donations. Karl Johan's grandchild, Karl XV, who was a monarch then, strongly supported the idea of a statue. King Karl wanted the statue to stand outside the parliament in order to remind the elected representatives of the monarch's power. But time went by, and as bureaucracy took over, there just wasn't enough time to make a permanent statue of Karl Johan for the Constitution anniversary. Everyone agreed that one still had to have something to gather around, a monument to the anniversary itself. Karl XV realized he had to erect a monument at the palace square in time. With big enough wallet, Karl could persuade Brynjolf Bergslien to take on the work of the monument. Brynjolf Bergslien met Karl personally and together they made a sketch of the large monument that Karl believed the city might need. But the monument that Karl wanted and insisted on getting was far too large to complete in the time available. Bergslien and Karl therefore agreed to make as much of the monument as possible, and when the time was too short, the rest of the monument should be completed temporarily. The time went fast, and, apart from the foundation, most of the statue was made of plaster. The actual statue at the top would bring to life the goddess of freedom. She stood at the top of a victory column, in one hand holding Norway's constitution, and in the other a laurel branch, the ancient symbol of victory. She was flanked by four smaller statues symbolizing female geniuses. They each hold a plate that is decorated with a crown, under the crown stands the name of the last four monarchs of Norway. This was then Christian Frederick who was king for a few months in 1814, as well as the three Bernadette monarchs Karl Johan, Oscar I and Karl XV. Otherwise, the statue was decorated with garlands, coat of arms, flower arrangements and gas lamps.